frenemies of YouTube, this is Robbie speaking, and today, that's right, we are going to review Shin Chan. Now, before I get into this review, I'm just going to give you a little bit of backstory on what my history is with this series. When I, um, back when I would watch Family Guy and Futurama, when I would stay up late at night to watch Futurama and Family Guy on Adult Swim, I would see previews for Shin Chan, this anime right here that we're about to talk about. And when I first watched these previews, I was just like, is that, is that those uh, Japanese cartoons like Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Yu Hagasho, Yu-Gi-Oh? Because it looks kind of stupid. It looks kind of, kind of, just kind of dumb. Like, I just did not feel like I should be invested in it. Plus, it was on at 12.30, so I would be sleeping by then because, of course, I would, I would go to school the, ne the next morning. So, I'm just I'm, I'm just going to skip this show and never look back at it because it just doesn't look that good at all. It's just with this kid shaking his ass around at people, annoying them. Is that what this show is really about? And then years go by. I'm getting into anime when I'm in high school and then... I keep hearing people saying Shin Chan is funny, I should give this a shot, and I still said no, I still said no, I just kept skipping it and skipping it until about last year or so I just started watching clips, I don't know why, just some people just kept recommending it to me and so I was just like okay I'll watch a few clips on YouTube and see how I am with this and I was laughing, I actually, I did not expect to laugh to this show, I thought, but even when I was starting to laugh with the show, I thought I still couldn't, um, I still didn't think it was enough until I started reviewing classic animes and all that. And so I'm just going through the list of like, what should I review next? And so I just decided Shin Chan, of course. So I just watched all the episodes that are in English dub, by the way. Funimation did like about. 70 something episodes. So those are the episodes I want to watch because people are recommending me the English stuff because of the jokes that I would understand, the pop culture references here in the West. So, so that's what I did. And I just kept laughing and laughing and laughing. I would just, I was just like, this is gold right here. This is just comedy gold. It's not one of my favorite enemies. I'm just putting it out there, but it's still funny in its own way compared to some of the other animes out there. Like, you know, of course there are a lot of other county um, animes, you know, I've talked about it before here on my channel, but they don't, when they do the English stuff, they don't go to this route. They don't do the pop culture references. They don't do the jokes that you would hear here in the West. And so, and I do like the, I do love the jokes that they tell in the other animes out, uh, out there, like the ones that I've mentioned, but... This one's just more unique, and it just gives it its own identity. So Shin Chan is, of course, about the title character, the main character. He gets into these misadventures, his everyday life with his friends, his family, his teachers, his neighbors, anybody he comes across, and he annoys them. Sometimes he tries to help them, but it's just more of him annoying them along the way. And another thing with this being a comedy, a complete comedy, is that you never take it seriously, nor is there character development, nor t turning points, or just anything that makes a story a story. No cliffhangers or anything like that. So, if you're someone who prefers a story, you're not gonna get out of Shin Chan though. You're not if you're someone like me who just wants to relax after coming home from work, and you just want to watch a standalone episode, then yeah, this is definitely recommended for you because there are times where I just was just coming home from work, like I said before, I would just be eating dinner, and then I would be like, hey, I want to watch an anime, but I don't want to watch something that has an overarching story. I don't want to watch something that has cliffhangers, because then I'm going to be staying up late at night just to get those answers that I want. Well, Shin Chan is the right place to go to. Now, remember earlier when I said Funimation does a really good job with the voice acting? Well, what I meant was that I feel like the voice actors are having a bit more freedom with this. I feel like they're having more fun, but in a different way. And I'm sure they've had fun with their other shows like Dragon Ball, Yu Hakusho, but what's there about this though is that they're allowed to swear more. They're allowed to talk more, like I said before, pop culture references. They're allowed to take things in a different approach. Like the voice for 
The voice for uh, Shin's dad, Hero, did the same voice acting for Hiei and Yu Hakusho, but when I hear uh, when I hear Shin's dad, Hero, talk, I don't hear Hiei at all. I hear just Shin's dad just being a total jerk, being perverted, being drunk, just being Shin's ridiculous dad. And that's good though, I feel like that the voice actors really separate these characters from the other characters that they've done in the past and so on. So, good job on the voice acting. If there's one piece of criticism that I have is that some of these pop culture references are a bit outdated. Basically, the English dub for this came out in 2006 and for example, some of the, like they talk about politics, I mean even though it's Japan, they do talk about American politics. The rest of the jokes are just so funny. If you can nail a celebrity joke, I will be laughing. But if you're someone who doesn't really care for those jokes, who doesn't have that type of sense of humor, then that's another reason why you may not like this show. But now on to the character himself, the title character, the main character, Shin Nahara. He, like I said before, he is annoying. He is ignorant. He is perverted, like he just likes flirting with older girls and he just fantasizes about them, kind of like Johnny Bravo. That's why we love Shin though, that's why we can't get enough of Shin, how he interacts with everybody around him who just find him just this annoying thing. How does he have friends? How and of course he does his iconic ass dance, which I can't put a clip on here on YouTube because of guidelines. So yeah, I just can't do that. So if you wanna, if you wanna see that those clips, then you'll have to look them up on YouTube. Whatever. Of course, there are other lovable, funny characters in this show. Now I've talked about um, Shen's dad, Hero. He is a low-budget salary man. He loves girls just like Shen, like father, like son. He sometimes he comes home drunk, like he'll go to a bar after after work. He'll just come home just being passed out on the on the front door and everything. It's just so funny to watch though. Then you have Mitzi, Shin's mom, who also has a preferred side to her. She likes handsome guys. So yeah, this is just a really perverted family when you think about it. And then you have Hima, Shin's baby sister. I mean, there's not really much to her though, but she's still fun to have around. She's, she's adorable and everything. Then you have Shin's friends like Matsu. I, th I think that's the same Matsu, Penny, Boo, Georgie. And then you have the teachers, you have the neighbors. Just there's just so many memorable characters though. Now on to the animation. The animation looks terrible. The designs look like a five-year-old drew it. And you wanna know something? The animators did that on purpose. They know that they created this this anime with terrible animation, but they're proud of it. They had fun with it. And we're fine with it though. Us the fans, we're fine with this terrible animation for one of the reasons. It helps stick out from some of the other animes out there though. When you have unique character designs, you look at that series, like say you look at a character from Shin Chan and you're just like, that character is from Shin Chan. Or say you see a character from One Piece you recognize it and you're just like, that character is from One Piece. Well, it's not something to complain about. It's just something to laugh about. Unfortunately, years ago, the creator of Shenshan, the manga creator, he passed away. And when he passed away, the manga ended. And this was like all the way back in 2010. But despite that happening, the anime is still going on. It's like over a thousand episodes right now as we speak. Like pretty much, I mean, of course, that's like the longest running anime right now. More episodes than One Piece, of course, more episodes than maybe Detective Conan, I guess. I don't know the, the exact episode count, but despite the anime still going on, Funimation stopped doing the English stuff a long time ago. And you want to know something? I'm kind of happy with that. I feel like Funimation would uh, run out of jokes. I feel like they would just get old and I would just stop laughing at those jokes. Kind of similar to how Family Guy is still going on. And South Park, like I just watch those shows. I'm just like, these th these jokes aren't really funny anymore. Like they just they're just doing the same thing. They're doing the same like jokes, gags, and everything. And but the English stuff for Shin Chan didn't go down the same route. I feel like 70 episodes 
it's just perfect. I mean, maybe maybe a little over 100 would have been great, but I, I don't know. Either way, though, Shin Chan, the English sub, had a great run. And because of that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Shin Chan isn't perfect, but it was worth my time. But was it worth your time, though? Did you like it? Did you not? Have you watched it? Have you not? Thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. So that way you get more videos like this every time I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Rob A, and may the AMA Force be with you.